Okay, moving on. Fine. Oh, no, no, no. There's one thing I want to talk about still. How about after Megan Olivia's in, uh, Megan Olivia is interviewing Dominic Cruz in the in, on the post fight show, and he's giving her a little bit of attitude about stuff. Like I wasn't a big fan of how he was responding to her. Obviously, he's coming off a loss though, right? I mean, he just got kneed in the fucking head. He felt like he was wrong. He's not going to be in a good mood. But she was asking him stuff like, "Did you feel like you were completely cognizant in there?" And he was like, "Oh, well, cognizance kind of like kind of like you know a little bit of attitude on the stuff, understandable." But then he comes out and says. I felt like Keith Peterson smelled like alcohol and cigarettes. And I was like, oh, my God. This is such a heavy accusation to lay against somebody because you're talking about a guy in Keith Peterson who has had an excellent career. I mean, he slowly worked himself up to the point where he's now refing a title fight. And he's somebody who every time I watch him, I think he cares about a a lot about his job. He always has the fighter's best interests at heart he's very fair he's very reasonable he doesn't take a lot of bullshit and in this fight i thought he handled the headbutt situation very well he didn't seem off to me at all he laughed about when they went to their corners and stuff on the op they went to the wrong corner after the first round ended um keith peterson didn't seem like he was out of it at all to me i mean that stoppage was a little bit early but that happens to the best of guys i mean even guys like herb dean Big John McCarthy, they all have early stoppages on the record, man. It's going to happen. And it's not even like it was the worst one that I've ever seen in my life. Like, you got hit with a big knee, you got cracked with the right hand, and then you ate 10 more unanswered shots. And then you're going to go out and say and put this guy's reputation and everything that he's worked for on the line by publicly saying on TV that he, you smelled alcohol and cigarettes on him? That's not the right move. Also... Dominic Cruz saying shit like I told the referee backstage that I wanted to be separated from consciousness like I wanted to be put out before this fight was called you don't get to make that call you're not the referee this is the referee's job to act objectively in that situation he's not giving you special favors man I mean it's not it's not a good look for Dominic Cruz it makes it look like he's not handling the loss well it's okay to be disappointed about it it's okay to I mean speak it for i mean speak the fact that like you thought it was unfair like state your case but to go on air without confronting him first or raising it behind like to to just accuse him of that i mean if it's not true it's such a heavy accusation and you're putting this man's entire career in jeopardy and you don't even have definitive proof that it was true and you got rocked you just got kneed in the head and you're giving this interview after getting kneed in the head like that and expecting us to just be like well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to take Dominic Cruz's word for it. He just got knocked out and clobbered with 14 unanswered shot, including a huge right hand and a big knee that dropped him. Like, come on, man. That's not the thing. I don't – it's not fair. It's, if it's true, if it is true and Keith Peterson is doing that, it's a terrible thing. He should not be in there operating under that mindset. You're talking about two guys who are putting their li- their lives on the line quite literally – and are fighting for one of the biggest moments in their life. Like, they've been preparing for a long time for this moment. It's finally come to a head. You can't be intoxicated in there. But I didn't see any evidence that he was. He looked fine to me. He wasn't stumbling around. I mean, that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous thing to say in my mind on Dominic Cruz. It does not bode well. I don't, I don't like that shit. I'm not going to lie.